The second of our Bulldog moments to be enshrined this evening was born in tragedy but has become part of the very fabric of this great football club. A short time ago, this story appeared on the ABC, and I think you'll agree it sums up things perfectly. They no longer play matches at the Witten Oval in Melbourne's western suburbs, but the ground remains the home of the AFL's Western Bulldogs. As the current players are put through their paces, Inside the club, four old teammates have gathered to remember the glory and the tragedy of seasons past. What, did you have a flat tire? Have you a licence for that? Is that why you like you got picked up? Oh, still full of shit, are you? <laughs> Hell yeah. In his wheelchair is Neil Saxe, a player whose life changed in a split second here 34 years ago, when an on-field collision left him a quadriplegic. Oh, yeah. yeah, we had to come over and teach you guys how to do it. But his injury and the way he's dealt with it continues to impact on the lives of others. I had a wife and two young kids at the time, so I wanted to enjoy their company. So I made sure that um, I tried to maintain a positive attitude and get out there and do things. Around Collins, now the chances for Neil Sachs. Plenty of time to turn out of danger, send it in the fourth forward. In 1975, Neil Sachse was Footscray's boom recruit. He'd already won a premiership with North Adelaide and played in a side that defeated Victorian Premier's Carlton to claim the title of Champions of Australia in 1972. Everybody kept on saying how fantastic VFL footy was and you know, it's cut above everything else. And So I thought, you know, might as well try, you should go and try it. When he came over, it was just going to be a, a fantastic acquisition to our club as a centre-half back, like a really strong, tough, run through the lines type player and we were really looking forward to having him in our side. But Neil Saxe's VFL career lasted only two matches. I was right next to it when it happened and, and uh, it was just one of those freakish things where for a split instant he seemed to be off the ground and then just got hit. What do you say? <laughs> it was just a horrible freakish accident. The collision broke Saxe's spine, possibly the only injury of its type in VFL history. While waiting for the ambulance to go to the hospital, I suggested they should take off my shoes or my football boots. And they said, oh, we did that a long time ago. So I thought, no, I think I might be in a bit more trouble than I think I am. So I started to hit home a little bit then. Talk about courage. Neil is here from Adelaide tonight. And he's here with so many of his teammates from the mid-70s. Ironically, Stephen Phillips was covering the match back in those days for the Australian newspaper and his graphic account of the incident was rewarded with the VFL's news story of the year. Neil, it's great to have you here. He's going to have a chat with Stephen Phillips. Neil, it would have been easy and understandable to drop your bundle over the years, but yours has been an inspirational life and continues to be. Well, some may see it that way, but uh, it's only really due to my wife and my family that's given me that um, opportunity, really, to do something positive with my life. And uh, so, you know, those are the people that I must thank, and really, the other things follow. Um, I've always wanted to give back as much as I could uh, to the community, and I've done that in what I've achieved, I suppose, and one is setting up a foundation for research into a cure for spinal cord injury. In the third of our magic moments, along...